Hey everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial video. So very recently, Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 added a pretty major new feature that you may not have noticed yet. The plugin system has gone live. The plugin system basically allows developers to add small, um, well, plugins that can add new features and functionalities to the game. And you can just download those yourself and put them in a little folder and that way you can use them. So in this video specifically I'll be showing a plugin that I just made that can be used to easily create road lines. Which usually is a very tedious job so I decided to make a plugin for that. At the end of this video I'll be showing you how to install these plugins. So if you want to see that first and don't have any clue on how to do that make sure to skip ahead for the installation first. Anyway so let's jump right into it. You can find the um, road lines plugin under the map icon and this is where you'll find all the plugins if they have a menu or at least some kind of interface. So right here you'll find my road lines plugin so if I release my mouse cursor on that you'll see a little window pop up and these are all the options that I can currently use. Uh, for creating road lines. Now, how do you create road lines? Now, you can create road lines in two different directions. You can create them from the top left to the bottom right or from the top right to the bottom left. Now, let's do the top left to the bottom right first. So I click that button to make sure that I have that direction. In that case, lines will be going in this direction. And here we have different styles and colors. I'll keep that the way it is for now just to show you how these lines are created. Now I can drag around on the surface here and the line will be created between the uh, squares that you see. So if I make uh, two rows of squares here and release the mouse button, you'll see that a line will appear right in the middle of that. Now we can create a larger section as well, in that case it's going to create a double line. Just like that. And we can just keep expanding that as much as we want. So there you go. Now we have different uh, line styles as well. For instance there's a stripe line. There is a line uh, that's made out of dots basically. A weather line. And a stripe weather line. And maybe I'll add more in the future. I'll let you know if there are any updates to the uh, to the system. Now, if we want lines the other direction, we can just click the other direction and start creating lines like that. There you go. Now, there are a few different color options right now. I, for now, just chose some of the colors that are um, commonly seen on road lines, basically. So that includes white, yellow and blue for the most part and they added some other colors as well that blend nicely with the um, with the terrain and the, um, the path element basically. And that basically allows you to more easily and more quickly create roads if you want. Now um, let's create a little section of road right here. I already made some path here that we can build the road on. So I can just drag a line right here. Do the same on the other side. Mm, maybe we'll do a white line down the middle to indicate two different lanes and then do a stripe line down the middle of each of those. There you go and now I'm finished. Now I have one other plugin as well and that's the path expander and that just really quickly allows me to fix those edges up on the path elements here. And there you go, now you can very easily and quickly create um, things like roads and parking lots a lot more easily than you could before. Now uh, in one second I'll actually show you how these uh, lines are created because it is not anything special, it is actually done by placing walls under the ground basically. So let me show you that really quickly so you have an idea of how this works. So each different line style is basically a different kind of fence or wall element and I just removed them because I didn't have zero clearance enabled. <laughs> Let's retry that. There you go. So like you can see the straight lines are let us still work walls. The stripe line is that as well but just place an interval. And we have the balustrade and the wooden snow fence for the weathered line. So keep that in mind. So we'll actually build them right under 
the terrain elements, as you can see. Um, so keep that in mind while you're building something. Now uh, let's do another little demo for how you could maybe build a parking lot. Uh, again, going into the road lines, making sure I have the direction that I want. And now I can create a center line. That's not the right line. I wanted a full line. There you go. Do the other direction. Make the spaces two places deep. And there you go. Now we have a parking lot. And just like that, you can now build road systems a lot more easily. So I hope you guys will enjoy this and I hope to add some new features to it in the future. Uh, so let me know what you would like to see in the, in the future as well. Anyway, so that's a demonstration of the plugin itself. I'll now actually jump into how to install plugins if you don't know how to do that yet. At the time of recording this, the best place to get your plugins is from the plugin directory. This is a website created by SAD and I will make sure to link it in the description down below as well. And here you'll find most of the plugins that have been posted. So you can already see that quite a few plugins have already been made for all sorts of things. Now in this video of course I'll be showing you how to install the Roadlines plugin. Now as of right now, installing plugins might work a little bit differently. Um, from one plugin to the other uh, but I'll try to explain it as uh, easily as, uh, as possible. Now hopefully with most plugins you'll actually find a little installation description down here that you can read and go through um, to find the best way to install that specific plugin since it will differ from one plugin to the other. Now for my plugins you can get plugin and this will lead to the github webpage. And this is just a website where we can post code and things like that. Now, of course, you're not going to be interested in all these weird files here. Instead, we're going to be looking for a file that ends in JS and probably has the name of the plugin as well. Now, in this case, in the installation description, you can see that we need to copy the JS file in the build directory. So let's go into the build directory and there we'll find the single JS file. If we click that, we get to see this weird file. We can just click raw and there we go. We now have the file. We can just save that file as and then place it in the right directory. So let's actually do that right now. So um, if you have OpenRST2 installed, you hopefully know where it is installed. If you're using the launcher, it will usually be in documents slash OpenRC2. That will be your OpenRC2 directory. Inside of your OpenRC2 directory, you'll want to find the plugin directory. Go into that and save the file, the single JS file inside of that directory. Once you've done that, you can boot up the game and the plugin will automatically be loaded and ready to use. Now, like I said, things work a bit differently uh, based on the plugin um, since the setup might be a bit differently. Now, for my Path Expander um, plugin that I used to uh, get rid of the path borders uh, in this demonstration, um, I was using the Path Expander for that. Uh, this plugin is set up a bit differently. So, once we get into this website, you'll immediately see just a single JS file. That's going to be the file that you want to download and save inside of your plugin directory. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below. Um, I will make sure to answer any questions that you guys might have. And if you're interested in trying to create your own plugins as well, and you have some JavaScript experience, then do make sure to make your own plugins because there's a lot of things that we can now make with these plugins. Um, which will lead to some very creative things, will improve gameplay and improve the creativity overall of people playing this game. Now, if you like this video, make sure to like this video so that other people can find it as well. And maybe even consider sharing it if you know someone who might really enjoy this plugin. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching it again. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.